Hi, hey, and all those other greetings today, adventurers. I'm Jen Spins, welcoming you guys back to my gaming and unboxing channel, where today we have some more Splatoon 3. And today, we're going to be jumping into the next level, which I did open, because I, cause I had a, a bit of a goof in my intro. But that's okay, because we are going to be getting lost in three easy steps, which is what I do on a daily basis whenever I'm trying to do homework or just live life. <laughs> Ooh, 96 scale. Okay, we have a weapon that I am fairly familiar with to start with. So overall, that is really nice. What is going to throw me off, though, is that I use I use a lot of run speed. Oh, God. Okay, we're going, we're going a maze route. Thankfully, with paintable walls. Because otherwise, this might be a bit awkward to try to do. You know what? We will We will definitely pop this guy. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, you thought you could get the better of me? Nah. Nah. We're, we're going to do like I would do in the Breath of the Wild mazes. And we're just going to go up top on the ceiling. Say, screw the maze. We'll, we'll figure out how the maze is going up top. If you're going to give me that option, you bet. Ow. You bet I am absolutely going to take it. Wait, how do you? Grab that. Okay, there there must be like a switch or something. I'm I'm sure I'll find it. I just <laughs> I just have to run on the ceiling and just not have a care in the world. Because again, this is actively easier. There we go. There we go. Oh, then we got the outside world too easiest maze ever unless the, this might be a secret though or this might be for later what the maze is going vertical what the heck i did not see that coming okay well i would have definitely painted the floor a lot a lot better if i if i would have recognized that it was going to do that Okay. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting problem to deal with now. Cause now I have to deal with the base. The game said, oh, oh, you think you can cheese this like you did with Breath of the Wild? No. Nah. -uh. This is Splatoon 3. You're not getting away with that. You should have paid attention to where you need to go. God, I thought I was so smart. I thought I was so smart. Well, it did say three easy steps, so I wonder if it's gonna switch three times. That would actually make sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's also a lot of people that have never seen this happen. <laughs> Where it's like these guys on the ceiling just shooting down at you. Yeah, get out of my face, sir. Heck yeah. Heck to the freaking yeah. I just, I just wanted some unique content on the channel, you know? Alright, if I had to guess, I would say... Oh! I'm not going to say I, I would bonk. I'm not gonna say, I was going to say I would I'd probably have to go up, but it looks like that actually makes sense. That actually makes a lot more sense to go this way. And cool. I, I was really nervous for a second that I was going to... I was just going to swim, <laughs> swim down and it was going to be very bad. Okay, we're good. We're good. I just keep getting stuck on the weirdest little lips where the where the ink is just not connecting. The game's like, no, no, you're you're not gonna be allowed to swim up here. <laughs> Why would you? Woo! Wait, what happened to the three easy steps? Wait, wait, that's two. That's two easy steps. Did I skip a step? <laughs> wait, wait, I'm so confused. Why is it called three easy steps then? I mean, I'm not gonna complain. That was that was a pretty cool level. Uh, all things all things considered, I mean, it was it was, for a maze level it was pretty cool. But I also I also got to use a weapon that I liked, so you know that's that does that does help a little bit. 
So now that we have that done, we can finally start climbing the tower and see if Gramps is up here. Though, I'm, I'm sure there will probably be a few other things. I mean, of course, there's also, like, you know, trying to, trying to get the map all covered. Yo, we got another Sardinium, which means that we can actually finally do the upgrade. Oh, what? Oh, my God, I'm dumb. I'm freaking dumb. I was thinking that it's, like, all of them. Honestly, that's fine. Why is the gyro being weird? Okay, but yeah. Absolutely want to upgrade that. And then, I mean, we might as well instantly upgrade sensor. Oh, that's nice. Imagine if that was actually, like, a, a legit upgrade that you could get. So, yeah, you can get, like, better hero shot and, and stuff like that. And then you can also get, like... Ninja Squid. I mean, Ninja Squid doesn't seem like it would be that helpful, though. But hopefully there is enough to where we can unlock this whole thing. I actually don't know if that's how that works. But we have gone through most of the kettles here. So overall, that's pretty good. And like I said, I will go through uh, the rest of the weapons on my own time, most likely. So, Oh, I thought you said, ooh, sprinkles. I was like, oh my god, Callie. This <laughs> is so precious. Just so precious, man. Like, if if you if you don't like Cali, I, I think that's I think that's actually like a, a war crime. <laughs> the oh, you know what? Yeah, I I see what happened. I see what happened. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I just messed up a little bit. Now before we go to this kettle, though. I definitely think we should get rid of this guy. Just because I have a feeling I will I will miss this. What oh, it's a card pack. Oh, you're you're not you're not gonna open? Okay. You know, fair enough. Fair enough, friendo. Oh, another Alright, we're we're getting these things a lot through this area. Oh, okay, so you actually have to unlock those to unlock those. Okay, that's good to know. So yeah, I did mess up a little bit. But that's okay. Oh, I didn't even see that over there. Now we have to go and we have to go over here. We have to get this balloon. Could I have done it later? Absolutely. Would I have forgotten? Absolutely. Though, I think we cleared off enough of the area to where this shouldn't be a problem. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna hit the, <laughs> hit the telescope and it was gonna be an issue. i have been very sad. Oh, it's clearing. Getting to the end soon. Yeah, you're trying to get back up here? Nah, you're, you're not gonna escape by getting back to your home? Like, no. We have somehow been collecting these in order, which is very, very bizarre that that keeps happening. Grizzco in Industries Occupational Safety Guides. One, keep your eggs in the game. Two, I'll try to grab one more. Could end with one less of you. <laughs> Three, sea goes dark, tides go up. Four, ACB. Always check the basket. Five, throw eggs, don't yoke around. Hey, so true, so so true. I I see a lot of people that will that will make the mistake in Salmon Run of getting way too greedy or wanting to fight a bunch of the bosses. I'll I'll do the same thing, but it'll be like there's so many eggs by the basket, and everybody is just trying to fight bosses. So then by the time it ends, it's like. Oh, we could have won this, but because nobody ended up going for the eggs, except for like one person, then it went terribly wrong. Wait, is this? This one's gold. Soak it to me. Interesting. Yeah, of course. Of course we're going hero shop. 
It is, it is very possible, too. I might actually just have... If I don't do it off-camera, I might have an episode. Whoa, that's neat. That's so neat. I think that's a, I think that's a new block. Yo, I would love to see a stage that has this. Because I, I feel like that could be really interesting. Just to see how that could go. Especially because it has, like, the ink on there. And it's timed, too. Like, could you imagine hitting one of these, throwing a curling bomb, and then, like, it retracts, the curling bomb falls down? And then after it falls down, it just, like... Um, it, it splats somebody? Yeah, also putting a sprinkler on it, you just infinitely have it going. There's so many interesting things you could do with that if that's in an actual stage, and I I would love to see something like that. But yeah, I, I completely forgot what I was saying before that. Overall, though, I am I am definitely... Oh yeah, the, the weapon variants. Yeah, it, it is fairly possible that at some point... Because I am, I did mention about wanting to do, like, all of them, just do 100%. Even though I, I usually, I usually don't whip the weapons, but I, I think I want to start doing that a little bit. So, I'll either do that off camera, or I'll make, like, a little bonus episode where we just, where I show, like, the little, the little highlights of how that went. Though, to be fair, there's so many... There's so many different ones of that, that's it's hard to say. Okay, I also really like that the splat bombs you get are like these these like hero splat bombs. It almost makes me wonder when you when you unlock hero shot in the in the main game, like does it actually have that variant of the splat bombs? I don't think it does though. I think it's I think it's more uniform, probably so that like players don't necessarily get confused. Oh, a little Mario Sunshine period? <laughs> little Sun- <laughs> Little Mario Sunshine Pyramid! Oh my god. <laughs> some- some days I hate- I hate my brain for misspeaking. Like, what- what even? What even? Alright, we're going up the pyramid. Yeah, please, for the love of God, Spin, say the right word. <laughs> Oh, we got the DK key, too. Heck yeah. Heck to the freaking yeah. I didn't even know there was going to be a key, but apparently there was. Caged up in the box. That is that is the one thing that I do miss about Shifty Station, is the amount of different experimental things that they do. That it was like, oh well, this is this is just an experimental splat fest stage. It was almost like a splat fest feature, and it, you know, it not being there, like we do get more stages, and I think that's the better outcome because you end up getting to play those stages more often. And the splat the splat fest ones are limited. That's the thing. Like I think I think the way they should have done it. Was having it be like, oh, this Splatfest features this version of Sh Shifty Station. But then also make it where it's like a roulette. Like, after after they're being added, being like, oh, you can now add... You know, you can now play this version of it, or this version. Or, like, ro rotate it out as the, as the actual game rotates. But either way, I do think that having more of the permanent stages does work out better. Since you'll be able to play them instead of it being like, oh, you can go back and do them in, in private battles. Which, there's nothing wrong with that either. But not having a, a mode to be able to do that does kind of kind of stink a little bit. It would be interesting, though, if they did end up, like, pulling, pulling like, a chaos move and they just picked a random shifty station and put it in here and called it Shifty Station. Or if they like merged like a bunch of them and had it be like an ultimate Splatoon 3 version and that is the version. That could that could be a really cool thing for them to do. Okay. So looking over everything, I do believe that we've hit 
all of what we've needed to. Now, of course, we don't have all of the map, so once I'm actually done with, with this kettle, then I will absolutely be getting the rest of the map here. That being said, though, let's see what we got. We've got the future stairs back. Ooh. Oh, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> it's like, it's like, this is actually from Splatoon 5. Oh, this is ominous. I mean, they've had a trend so far of having the, the like, first official boss be, like, the cube. It's the cube guy! Oh, fr Fry? You're tough, I can tell. How about this? You call it quits and join my team. Uh, sorry, Fry. You, you are adorable. Bah, you want to resolve this Splatland style, huh? Fine by me. Dance battle by the... Wait! Wait! Oh, that's so cool! Okay, I did not expect that. Okay, having it where you actually fight the idols is awesome. Oh my god, these, these things are freaking crazy, too. Yeah, like, it's so funny. The The first game, it was like, here's this, like, a, a square with legs. And that's what you fight. And then it's like, oh, here be here be the toast. <laughs> here be it with, with like, it's a toaster. Haha, <laughs> so funny. It's so cute. Um, all right, all right, not bad. You really feel the pain. Now watch this. Yeah, but having it be, like, all of that, and now it's like... Oh, here's, here's it. It's, like, Carcass that you have to fight. And the idols are gonna fight you with eels coming out of it? Like, mate. Mate, that's freaking cool. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I also had an idea for a special that was kind of similar to what she's doing with the eels. Where it's like, it's like a uh, Mario Galaxy spin. I almost said spin dash. It's like a Mario Galaxy spin. And it, it, like, shoots out, like, tornadoes that swirl around, like, the, the area and the player. I, I think that would be, like, a really awesome, awesome type of thing. Maybe, maybe at some point, I'll, I'll go in, and I'll, uh, oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Okay. I was gonna say, this might be the time for Splashdown. I... Definitely think that was right, though I, I need to heal a little bit because these Cheetos are coming after me. But yeah, there might there might be a point where an, I I try to like make concepts for Splatoon for Splatoon weapons. Uh oh, uh oh, I missed one! I missed one! <laughs> oh no! Uh oh, she's going for it. She's going for it. Oh, she's got like. Freaking tentacles! He makes the eels tentacles. Oh my god, that's too funny. Oh, and then I can shoot them back. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, I would love to make like a concept of different Splatoon specials, Splatoon weapons, and just just do like videos on that. I I think that would be like really fun. I mean, I could also get to the point where I I can model them at some point. Though, most likely not, just because I have so many things that are going on. But it, it would be a cool thing. Okay, I... Ow. I missed him, but I did end up getting him in the end. I think the only way that we can end this... Sorry, Fry. You're adorable, but it's time to get splashed down. Hey, hey! I was gonna say, that's probably the last one, too. Uh, you, you way stronger than you look. But you haven't heard the last of Deep Cut. I... I didn't think she was just gonna explode the, the corpse and then just fly away. 
Oh my god. That's wild that that like weird joke vi Is this a piece of a helicopter? Anyway though, that's weird that a uh, a joke character, like a joke boss, ended up becoming like this weird gnarly type of thing. I'm very curious if we'll if we'll see like the rest of the bosses being controlled by deep cut and being being these weird type of like <laughs> corpse versions of them. Whew, that was some great work, Agent Three. And you got this uh, thing, but not cramps. It's treasure, or at least I think that's what it is. We can keep it here for now. It's kind of weird that they're they're fighting over this, <laughs> this like helicopter shell, but hey, you know it's whatever. Copy. Do, do, do you copy over? Anyone listen? Do you read me? Over. It, it's Gramps? Gramps, where are you right now? Kelly, Marie, my darlings, you're okay. Yep, we're a-okay. Wait, we should be asking if you're okay. Are you okay, Gramps? Oh, sure. I mean, I'm locked in some kind of dark room, which I guess ain't exactly ideal. I'll see if I can break out or get out for good behavior. Over. Don't do anything too rash. We're tracking your signal right now and on our way. Call us if anything happens. <sighs> I'm so glad he's okay. Come on, let's take a look at the new readings from his signal. Agent 3, if you want to go back to a previous kettle, just open the menu. It might be useful at some point. Oh, absolutely you know it will be useful. <laughs> it will be a very, very useful for when I actually go and finish things up. That being said, though, we do have a few things that I have to do, which are the, the silly, the silly little map stuff, and then clearing out the rest of the fuzz, which should just be the last of it. I'm not, I'm not too concerned. So once I'm done with the map, I'll meet back with you guys. Oh. All this random, like, medical stuff is just, like, really freaking me the heck out. It's like, oh, it's kind of gross. Oh, man. Okay, guys. I was able to get all of the rest of the map that we currently can get. Which, I gotta say, some of it definitely took a little bit longer than it should have, just because of extremely silly things <laughs> but we did end up making it work and now we can get rid of the final bits of fluff and also get the final bit of the map before we end off the episode which by the way i know i've mentioned this before but to hit every single square because of the way the game works for for the map system Instead of being large chunks, it's all small square chunks. So you can you can miss something by like pixels. And it won't actually count that the map is like that you've walked in that part of the map. It's super annoying. Is it a big deal? No. But it's extremely unsatisfying and kind of frustrating that you have to go through like every single inch of the map to get it to actually read. And I think we have now finished the map. So that is now area one and area two, 100% complete minus the actual levels. So overall, pretty good. Now we can technically open area three, but I think I'm gonna do what I did the last time. I'm gonna end it off here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Splatoon 3 and that you guys are having an awesome time. Um, I do find it interesting that Area 1 didn't have a boss, but it's 
it's fine. Because I guess technically it kind of did with Dr. Octavio. Or DJ Octavio, not Doctor. Two very, very different things. But yeah, overall, that's going to be it. So in the next episode, we are going to be checking out Site 3. And hoping that things go pretty, pretty well. Instead of just maniacally crazy and painful. Anyway, though, thanks so much for watching and keep those safe. Thank you for watching my video, guys. If you look over to the left, you can see a playlist of one of my many playthroughs on the channel, as well as a fun video up above it. And if you look over to the right, you can subscribe to the channel, as well as see another video, either from my channel or one of my friends' channels. Either way, it's sure to be a fun time. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Keep it toe safe.